Yo, what's up guys, it's me VX Tactical bringing you a commentary video to talk to you about a few things. Just want to start off by apologising for being inactive for so long, you know, I haven't been uploading as we used to do as a clan and everything. Just want to make up for it by, you know, uploading more episodes and more ouch episodes and any requested videos that you guys might have in mind. Now, the reason why we have been inactive for so long is because it's our final year in school and we're just working on revision and, you know, trying to get good grades in our exams. So because of that we sort of had to like you know reduce our time on editing, gathering clips and uploading regularly to the channel. Yeah so now that's out of the way I just wanted to let you guys know about a few changes that have occurred recently in the clan. I'm not sure if you guys noticed or anything but VX Desire has now chosen not to be the leader for a while. Me VX Tactical I'm going to be the one leading the clan from now on, well not from now on, like for a while at least hopefully he comes back. But the only reason why Desire went is because he wants to focus on editing and nothing else. Alright, so now that's sorted, I just thought I'd talk to you guys about a few projects or videos, should I say, that we're working on. Um, Vix Desire is actually working on my That's That episode 4, so I'm just gonna, you know, wait for him to finish that. And once he's finished that, I can't wait to see, I'm so excited. Hopefully, it's gonna be really good. Well, it is Vix Desire, so yeah, it's gonna be really good. After that I'm going to carry on working on my That's That episode 5 and then upload that. I'm also going to be editing the next Ouch episode which is Ouch episode 4. I've never edited an Ouch episode ever so it should be interesting what it look like. We're hoping to release the next VX cams and we have plans for future videos such as coming up with Modern Warfare 3 team targets, Black Ops team targets and so on. We even have plans for dual targets, commentaries, gameplays and you know tips and tricks on any certain things or requested videos that you guys might have for us as we said before if you guys are interested in playing with me on ps3 or you know getting into a lobby with us or playing in a party with us trying to get some trick shots online then add me as a friend don't be afraid send me messages or whatever just don't be afraid i mean like i'm not gonna murder you for adding me as a friend on ps3 you know just add me i'm i'm really nice to get along with you know we can have parties and have some conversations or you could uh, talk to me face to face about some well not face to face you know like one on one you know we could be in a party just talk about certain stuff if you have an issue or a request you know you, you could just talk to me about it Alright, so I'm guessing we can move on now, and um, I guess I'm going to be moving on to this topic about setting up. Well, recently I got a message from this guy that I have no idea who he is. It's not my friend of this or anything like that, but like basically he sent me a message saying that we set up our clips and we don't do it legitly and it's fake apparently. So to this guy and any of you guys who think we set up, I just want to make it clear that we do not set up. All our kills are done online and on public matches. And to be honest, I think that guy sent me a message because he saw my how to do the tactical shot video and he saw them on private matches and he goes to me that I can't do my kills online, this and that. And the only reason why I did those kills on private matches was because it's not really an episode or an actual video, it's just a tutorial on how to do a trick shot. It doesn't make a difference if I do it online or on a private match, it's just to show you how to do the trick shot. So yeah, overall what I'm saying is that we don't set up and all our kills are completely legit. So in future, if you see a uh, episode with only the game winning kill cam and not the clip before it, it's not actually set up, it's really an online kill, like legitly done publicly or whatever. It's just for editing purposes, we only show the game winning kill cam or to fit it into the whole video. So in future, if you guys want us to show you the part before the actual kill to prove that it's done, legitly or online or publicly or whatever just let us know and we'll do that for you i want to let you guys in on a little secret of mine on how i practice trick shotting and quick scoping all you need to do is gather a bunch of friends smack them into a party start a private match on rust or whatever map you want and just have a free for all match quick scope quick scope quick scope practice and try and go for a trick shot in the end or if you guys want to just go for trick shots then play S and D and go for game winning kill cams just practice trick shotting and then try them out online with enough practice this should soon start to become a skill to you 
and then you could go online showing off your immense skills and abilities on what you could do with your creativity. Getting kill feeds is much harder because not only does it require skill but it also requires accuracy. I also want to talk about how having 1v1s does not prove that you're better than somebody else. All it does is prove whether you're faster or not. It doesn't show how good you are at trick shotting, it doesn't show how good you are at kill feeding, it doesn't show anything like that at all. All it shows is whether you are faster or not. Because it's not that hard to just scope in and kill someone. Most players on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 now quick scope for the fun of it. When Modern Warfare 2 first came out, someone who quick scopes in the game winning kill cam was like the best thing in the world. People used to scream over it. But now it's a lot more different. Everyone's going out just trick shotting, you know, with clans and stuff. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that 1v1 does not prove whether you are better or not. All it does is prove whether you are faster than the other person you're playing against. Anyways, moving on. Me and the X Colors are the only people who have HTP VRs in the clan. I'm now looking for and recruiting new players who have HTP VRs and are willing to join the team. If you guys are interested to join, just send me a request. I'll give you a trial. And this trial that I'm going to give you is not going to be a normal private match, 1v1 or anything like that. It's going to be you guys joining my party and we will go online and I will see how you play. People with HTP VRs have a massive chance to join the clan. But if you do not have a HTP VR and you're one of those people who think you're really good, then you may well still find yourself as part of the team because we're also looking for really talented players and who are really good. So basically all you really have to do is just add us as a friend, send us a request saying you want a trial, telling us that you know, you're a good quick scoper or a good trick shotter and you're interested to join the clan and you know tell us if you have a PVR or not and then you know we can check you out and everything and just to warn you guys about something if you guys do want to join our clan you won't get no prestige 9 or UAV hacks or anything like that because we don't hack we're not only looking for players we're looking for editors and GFX editors as well so if you're a really good editor and you guys think that you know you could manage our clips for us edit them or whatever then send me a link of your channel, I'll check it out and I'll be sure to contact you as soon as possible. So yeah, overall there's spaces up for grabs, whether it's GFX editing, normal editing, video editing, whatever it is, being a player, you know, trick shotting, quick scoping, anything like that at all, there's spaces up for grabs because we are recruiting right now. Anyway guys, um, I've been talking for a very long time now, it's almost been 8 minutes. If you're still watching this and listening to me, I really appreciate it. Let me just tell you a bit about the gameplay that I was playing. Well, I joined a random game of demolition. I was on the phone to my girlfriend, so, you know, I wasn't really concentrating. I was texting. I was just, you know, pretty much messing around. That's why I was proning a bit earlier. I was like, you know, I was just concentrating on some stuff. And then I ended up getting a new through the intervention. I was using extended mags, stopping power, sleight of hand, and commando, I think it was. Stuns, as you can see the tactical insertion I'm pretty much just running around trying to spawn trap or get some feeds and stuff but anyways I end up with a nuke and it's like wow to be honest I really was just trying to go for feeds like quad feeds no scopes and all that stuff just some you know weird clips I end up getting a nuke so like I just uploaded it for this commentary I was actually thinking about going for a free for all commentary again but this is something different so I hope you guys like it so I think we covered quite a few things today again I apologize for being inactive for so long the XDI is no longer the leader anymore I'm gonna be taking over his place for a while he's sticking to editing from now on another thing is that he's gonna be working on some of my episodes I'm gonna be working on my other episodes I'm gonna work on out episodes and all that stuff I'm also hoping to read the next VX cams and thinking about having dual charges with VX colors or any other certain player in the clan and I'm going to be releasing some team charges hopefully on Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops. We do not set up clips, we are completely legit, we do all our kills online and public matches. Don't be afraid to add me on PS3, just feel free to send me messages, requests, anything at all, just inbox it to me or send me a message on PS3. If you guys want to see anything different at all, like if you want us to do a different sort of series or any other sort of episodes or a different type of content, 
just let us know and we'll try and do that for you. I don't do 1v1 so don't add me just to have a 1v1 with me. This gameplay isn't really the best in the world, it's just a new video using the intervention. I wasn't really concentrating because I was distracted on the phone and all that stuff. I hope you guys found this video interesting, entertaining, hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything else I could really do for you guys, please inbox me and let me know. This video is really an update video to let you guys know what's going on and everything, why it's been inactive and all that stuff. So please like this video, comment on this video, favorite this video, spread it out, you know, link it out to your friends, share it out, help us get known. Please don't forget to subscribe, all these videos and episodes we have planned for you guys, it's going to be really exciting, it's going to be so much fun. Thanks again guys for watching this video. I'm VX Tactical and I'll see you soon.